Big Al Podcast with your host, Al Bishop, unfiltered and uncut. All right, cool, man. Uh, I'm joined by Jay Cuccinello, who's the latest addition to the EFC network, fighting out of uh, Malaga, Spain. Am I right there, Jay? Yeah, Malaga, Spain, that's it, yeah, Malaga, Spain. hundred percent, man. Welcome to the show, man, and thanks very much for giving up some of your time. I know it's uh, it's always crunch time now during the fight periods, but thank you very much, and welcome to the show, bro. No, thank you for having me. It's, uh, it's a pleasure, absolute pleasure. So it'd be nice to uh, introduce yourself and let the uh, the Durban fans get to know who I am, you know, so it'd be good. hundred percent, and that's exactly what we're after. Um, Jay, l- let's maybe start and, and have a look at your career and how it all started. Um, basically, h- how did the MMA become a professional career for you? Where did it all start? Uh, it started probably about, I think, going nine years ago. Okay. I uh, left the British Forces and um, I needed somewhere to channel my uh, my energy, you know. So cool. I always MMA was always, martial arts was always a part of my life growing up as a kid and stuff, uh, through my dad and stuff like that. So... It was always there. I was always interested. I was always watching, you know, the UFCs. And, um, yeah, it's just something that, you know, was always in my back pocket. And I always wanted just to pull it out and have a go at it, you know. And uh, here I am now. Oh, right. Nice, man. And uh, did you have a bit of an amateur career at all? No, I had, um, I think, four, se- like, we call it semi-pro, but okay. it's basically amateur, yeah. So I had, like, four semi-pro fights. Um, in quite short, well, my first fight after training six months, I had my first fight, you know, so yeah. I got into it quick. Um, yeah, so yeah, I've had I, my, my experience in the amateur wasn't great, but you know, I the team that I was with, you know, I was around like high level guys and that, so I, I was I was mixing with some really good guys at the time, so I really got to uh, got my teeth get stuck into it, you know. Okay, cool. And sorry, just to touch back on there, you said you were with the British Forces. What sort of uh, what sort of duties were you? Performing? I was in the I was in the uh, I was in the infantry, okay. like front line first front line soldiering. Um, I joined there when I was sixteen uh, yeah. to deploy to Iraq. I deployed to Iraq for six months when I was eighteen, and then I did a couple of months in Sierra Leone, and then I did um, a tour of Afghanistan. Um, which was pretty heavy, so yeah, um, I got about a bit. Well, the short period of time I was in, due to my, I got injured in Afghanistan. So, due to my injuries, um, I wasn't allowed to deploy any, an operational services and that. So, um, that's the, that was the main reason for, for me uh, exiting the army, really. Okay, and it's and it's that per injury. Can we say perhaps that led you to MMA? In fact. Yeah, yeah, you can do. You know, it's like you say. You know what I mean? <laughs> like you say, it's um, it is a uh, it is a big it is a big part of my life and that. So yeah. leaving that, you know, it was uh, it was something that I wanted to get into and that. So yeah, no, it is. All right, fantastic. Um, so you've managed to etch up a a, a very very good looking record. Um. You're seven and zero currently, for, from what we can tell, and it's uh, with a hundred percent finish rate, which is always what ge- what gets the fans nice and giddy and really and excited to to see you put on a show. Um, yeah. W- where have you been fighting, and 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 what kind of promotions can we see? Obviously, I mean, for us South Africans fans, it's um, you know we we can jump onto Sure Dog and stuff like this and check out a record, but we don't really know too much about the promotions you're fighting in. So, I think it's quite a nice. Uh, quite a nice opportunity for us to have a look at exactly, you know, what you've been doing up until this point. Yeah, of course. I mean, the, my career started obviously in the UK um, and back, you know, you say eight, eight, nine years ago when I was pro, um, I was fighting pro probably, yeah, about eight, nine years ago and the shows that we was on were just local shows, you know, but sure. back then it was, you know, back then the MMA was only really really becoming, you know, starting to become mainstream and stuff, you know, so the shows that I was fighting on was like local London shows, you know, in that area, up and coming shows. Um, and then I took a bit of time off. Um, with that time, I moved to Spain and then it's been in the last, I think the last two and a half years now that I've actually like racked up another five, five fights, you know, so in the last two years, yeah, I've had about five fights. So, um, 
fantastic organization so like i say organizations in the uk were just local shows um and then when i moved to spain there's a show in spain and it's called afl and it's the angus angus Ang- angus gar fighting league okay. and um it's the biggest show in spain um it's equivalent to you know your esc and and your cage warriors in england you know okay. in the uk so it's a big show here um, they've had some big names on it, like uh, Enrique Wasabi from the UFC and stuff. So I, uh, I managed to get myself a slot on there last year. Um, I don't know if you've seen it yet, but it's leaking around somewhere, the, the knockout of the year that I had. Yes, yes um, I, I, had a I fight have with seen it. that in fact. Uh, yeah. yeah, so that's the show that it was on. And having a fight with the Portuguese kid, he's a black belt, um, BJJ, so he was very good on the ground. So that was a, that was a tough fight. The guy hit hard. Um, <laughs> But, you know, my heart come through with it and, you know, I got the win. And which way the fight went, it earned me a, an automatic title shot um, against their champion, Daniel Craer. He's obviously the, uh, another black belt in Spain. Um, very, very, very well, very well recognized um, within the MMA community in Spain. And uh, I, that was back in March I had that fight. And um, that was a five-rounder with him and I put him away in the third round, I believe, yeah, with a knee. So... Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm, I say it's my aim to travel, you know, get around sure. and, you know, sure. it's just what's quite good about this, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm on the main, 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 main card and, um, you know, no one knows nothing about me, so it's good, it's, you know, it's nice to get out there and, you know, give these fans a show and what I've got, you know. 100%, and um, just on that note, how, how much do you know about the EFC on a whole? Obviously, I mean, you know you're going to be fighting there, but... Have you? Is it a promotion that you've watched quite closely over a little period of time, or is it kind of you just got this call up from a African promotion and you were just like, sounds like a good idea? No, no, it was basically I, I asked for it, you know, I, okay. I asked Luke to get me on it. I, I've known the EFC since when I started MMA because back in the UK there's a there's a channel called Extreme Sports. I don't know if yeah. you're familiar with that. It's but the second time yeah, I've, I've so heard someone tell me about this. <laughs> Yeah, so um, it was extreme sports. So when I started MMA, um, I was always familiar with it. But when I started it, I used to flip through my channels and there it was, you know. But it it used to play like weekly replays, you know. It wasn't live. It was always like repeated the next week. So, And I I remember seeing, you know, you like Chevy Wesley Hawksy on there, you know. And um, so I have known about, I have known about EFC for a long time. Um, And... It was a friend of mine who lives in Spain also, and he's, he fought on there recently, Christian Holly. Christian Holly, you, yes. you remember his last fight? Yes. Yeah, yeah. So he's local as well to me. So after he got on it and I seen him fight, you know, I spoke with him, and he said, you know, they're, they're a great promotion. And, you know, it really uh, it put a bit, of a bit of a fire in my belly, and I wanted something like it, you know, and did a bit of traveling. And I asked Luke to try and get me across, and Graham was very interested. So, okay. uh, yeah. No, here I am. Okay, so um, from what I've I've told you, you and Christian Holly are actually from the same camp. Is that correct? No, we're not. He's from a different gym, but we okay. do we, we do mingle. We do mingle, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, he had a he had a good showing. Yeah, it was a t- tough fight, tough first yeah. assignment. Uh, pretty much uh, yeah. similar scenario for yourself. If we're honest, it's it's going to be a tough <laughs> opening assignment. And um, h- how much yeah. do you know about your opponent, Wesley Hawkey? Yeah, no, and it. It's, it, I, I know Wesley's tough, you know, I know Wesley comes to fight, and that's all I need to know, you know. Sure. You know, it's my last two fights, it's been, um, um, my last two fights, I, I've had to really, you know, try and keep it standing and, you know, stuff like worry about the ground game. But with Wesley, you know, I just, I know he's all-rounder, he's, he's boxing, he's, you know, he's very good, and he's got some power in his hands, so... I'm excited, you know, it's nice to be able to get in there with someone who know, I know that's going to come forward, I know he's going to stand toe-to-toe with me, and, you know, I'm not going to be chasing him, you know, or sure. it's, it's going to be, yeah, uh, yeah, so he's, he's a great fighter, so, um, and he's done a lot, like you say, he is a legend in uh, MMA in Africa, so. Sure, and um, do, would you feel, coming to South Africa and uh, hypothetically let's say uh, looking forward if, if you had to come off and pull off a win against such a name like uh, Wesley Hawkey for South African MMA where do you think that would put you in the promotion would you be thinking about title, uh, title aspirations from there or would you kind of just be taking it as you go I mean uh, my, my goal was always to 
you know, from the beginning was to travel the world and fight the best people, best, the best fight, the, fight the best fighters in, you know, in that country. And, you know, belts was never something that was, you know, on my radar. But, sure. you know, yeah, you know, I've come to Spain. I fought their best fighter. I won the title. You know, and like you say, this opportunity was arising, and I was, I was over the moon just to get on the card. You know, yeah, I was, I was very grateful just to get on the card. And then obviously, I get the call on a main event against. Let's, let's not mistake, you know, people go on about records and that, but I don't care about records. I don't care about my seven and zero record, I and I don't care about Wesley's, you know, fourteen and seven, whatever it is. What I look at Wesley like, he's been a, a title challenger twice, if I'm not, if I'm correct. Sure. Yeah, so you know, this guy is. He's a top contender. He's fought for the title, you know, twice. Come up short. Um, this, this, this guy's relevant. Doesn't matter what anyone says. Records mean nothing. Numbers, it's just numbers. It's just, you know, we're only as good as this fight. So um, I believe it will put me up there. And you know what? A world title does sound nice, doesn't it? Yeah, you know? absolutely. You know, it does sound nice. So, but for me, I'm just grateful to get on there, be on a massive platform. Because let's not get, you know... I'm not me mistaken, EFC is a big, big, big show, you know. Yeah, I'm not just saying it because I've been signed to them, but the production behind it and everything can, you know, <clears throat> it's, it's phenomenal. So I'm, I'm, I'm very blessed and I'm just looking forward to it, to be fair. Absolutely, man. You, you, you talk about the EFC production levels. Um, a lot of the guys I speak to that, that are coming in from overseas um, it generally team, seem to be not 100% aware of just how big the EFC is at the moment, man. Like the, the, the numbers are reaching into close on 2 million a show, which is the, the, the broadcasting numbers. And it's, you know, obviously the production, some of the guys are, that have fought in bigger promotions, uh, we've had one or two guys that have come from the likes of like Bellator and have said that, you know, e EFC is just on another level. The, the production level is massive. The numbers that they're doing is massive. So so it is a massive show. And I mean, a, a lot of South African fans, uh, <laughs> I think they get caught up. They, they, they misunderstand that someone like yourself is actually stepping up into a big league, which makes things very difficult, you know, uh, for terms you, you're traveling for the first time to so far to, to, to fight and compete and handle that weight cut and all of those sort of things uh, on the road, as it were. So are, are, are you yeah. are you quite prepared at the moment for all of those sort of things? You know, d dealing with the, yeah, the man, weight uh, cuts and so on. Yeah, listen, I, I'm prepared. I'm always, always prepared, you know. And it's, listen, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what you do or where you go in this world. You know, it, it, it all comes down to just two people. And that, you know, both fighters, and it. You get in there and you fight. You know, I could I could I could walk to South Africa, cut my <laughs> weight, and it does. It just, to me, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's a fight, isn't it? At the end of the day, it's, you go there, you go there, you fight, you get on with it. If you don't want to be there, you know, then don't do it. You know, it's at the end of the day. I'm there to fight. I don't listen. If I've got to run through fire and all that just to get in the cage, and you know, I'll do it. It's, it's what I want to do. You know what I mean? It makes me happy, and um, what better way to do it than on a main event? In an EFC card, it's amazing. Hundred percent. Yeah. Against a, against a, against a, a proper a proper good you know a guy that comes to fight you know yeah sure let, you know let, Wesley Hawkey's not like a, an amazing superstar MMA fighter but he's a fighter and that's what I am I'm 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 no you know I I'm not an amazing you know an MMA fighter you know it's but I'm I'm a fighter you know and I've and I've got some skills in all areas so, like Wesley so you know it's, it's amazing for a fight of the night. 100%. No, 100%, man. It's, it's really exciting. What, what I want to ask you is just, obviously, in the beginning, we, we, we just breezed over it, the fact that it's it's always a strange thing because South African fans will, will be their first time seeing you. Um, they, they don't know too much about you. So, so what would you say is your fighting style, if we can put it like that, or, or even simpler, what can fans expect from you come fight night? I mean, my fight style, I mean, it's, I, like I say, I, I can adapt to anything, you know. Any sure. any type of fight, I adapt well. That's where I've always been good at, you know. I don't I don't specialize in anything. But when it comes to fighting, I, you know, I, I adapt to my fight, and I can I adapt very well, you know. So my wrestling's, my wrestling's you know, at a good level. Um, my boxing, you know, so in previous fights, some people may, may think my boxing's not that good. I have been known for being a bit sluggish. With my boxing and stuff, but you know, it's I'm 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 prepared all, all areas, you know, I really am, and I don't I don't feel no threat. Sorry about that. No I don't problem. feel no threat anywhere in any fights, you know, 
with anything. But the South African fans could just 100 percent they could see me coming with heart, you know, and that I've got, you know, I've got fight in me, and I, I, you know, you you have to finish me, you know, they're gonna they're gonna see a finish. Either way, there's going to be a finish in the fight, you know. So they can definitely see, um, they can see me coming. I've got, a, I've got a motto that I use quite a bit, and it, 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 I say like hashtag can't be beat. And it's not, I think, what I would like a lot of the South African fans, a lot of people to know is it's not just I can't be beat in the case. You know what I mean? It's not, it's not my sure. record. It's about everything in life, you know. Like mentally, I can't be beat. You know, nothing can beat me in whatever I do in life. You know, 100%. you know, I can't be beat. You know, so it's not just an arrogance thing because I know a lot. I think um, a lot of the South Africans think like that a lot of the British are quite arrogant due to the fact of uh, was it Bahati? Uh, yeah, Bahati. Yannick Bahati. Uh, yeah, so he's obviously left a bit of a sour taste in um, <laughs> some of the uh, South Africans' mouths. So and I've already had a bit of the backlash already through social media and stuff like that. But you know, I, 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 I see that is, they, uh, you can be assured that is not me. You know, I am a happy go lucky guy and. Uh, I come to fight and I come to please people and I come to enjoy it. You know, I want to come there and I want to enjoy it. So I'm looking forward. I've got my work out, especially because I'm going into um, Wesley's hometown. I'm going to have to beat him in front of his hometown crowd and make some fans at the same time. So I've got a hard test, though. I've got a hard hard task on my hand. But, you know, this is what it's all about, isn't it? Sport. It's about, you know, getting in there and cementing your own legacy you know so i look forward to it for sure man yeah 100 percent, man and uh, by the sounds of things you've definitely been in more hostile territory in your life so this should be reasonably easy for you yeah yeah any last messages for wesley hawkey if you could see him right now if i could see wesley hawkey right now um i would tell him not to whip me too hard that's about it really (laughs) (laughs) no no listen it's just Turn up healthy, fit, and and ready to fight. You know that, that's all. That's all I want. You know it. it it's his hometown, isn't it? You know he's gonna want to entertain, and I'm willing to join the party with him. No, no problem. You know, so let's um let's let's get uh let's get the uh fight going, and uh, by the end of it, we can get Graham to get his trick book out and get us a nice bonus, <laughs> can't we? So sounds like a solid yeah. plan, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does, doesn't it? It does, yeah, doesn't it? Sounds it, so. like a solid plan, man. And um, just your last plans, you should be flying out pretty soon, I feel. Like. I fly out Saturday um, night. I land around Sunday morning lunchtime. I go to Johannesburg there for a couple of days, I believe. Um, MRI, and then I'm off to Durban. So I'm guessing I will be seeing you out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll see you out there fight night. Perfect, perfect. We'll catch up. All righty, Jay, man. Thank you very much for your time and some brilliant insight and uh, gives us a little bit of knowledge about you and what we can expect. And, and thank you very much for that, man. And good luck with the rest of the last bit of the camp and uh, safe travels. And we'll see you when you're here, man. Cheers, big Al. Thank you very much. And I will see you all very soon. Thank you. Awesome. Go well, brother. Cheers, brother. Thank Ciao. you. Bye. Ciao, man. of October at Sibaya, Durban's favorite son returns to the hexagon to face a new kind of threat as he takes on the undefeated British warrior, Jay Cuccinello, and heavyweights collide as Vessel Mostert clashes with Ricky Micholas. EFC 64, 7 October, Sibaya Durban. Tickets and broadcast information at efcworldwide.com.